It's like they want to get hit. Need a body shot? Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. A 31-year-old Austin man faces four criminal charges for allegedly firing a shotgun at another man and then standing off with police all night. Andrew Michael Larson was charged Wednesday in Mauer County District Court. He faces two dangerous weapon felony charges, second-degree assault with a dangerous weapon and possessing a pistol with a previous felony conviction. Larson has not yet entered a plea. He is scheduled to do so on September 15th. And in other news, Austin's canines may soon have a place to roam, at least on paper. The park board unanimously voted to recommend an area at the bottom of 2nd Street Southeast for the location of an Austin dog park. City council members will vote on whether to approve the location on September 19th. Well, let's take it out to Daily Herald reporter Matt Peterson with today's Weather on the Rough. Matt, what's it looking like outside? We've got considerably more cloud cover than we've had in the last couple days, but don't let that fool you. We're on a roll for good weather this week. Uh, We've got high 77 today, a low of 56 tonight. Temps will rise to about 79 tomorrow, and there should be sunny skies again. Uh, this weekend looks beautiful with highs in the 80s and lots of sun. Good weather should continue into next week as well. That's all we have for weather on the roof today. Let's take it back to you, Trey. Thanks, Matt. A severe winter and wet spring significantly reduced Minnesota's pheasant population. According to the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, the pheasant population index declined 64% from 2010 and is 71% below the 10-year average. A second consecutive severe winter, cold, wet weather during the April to June nesting period, and a loss of nearly 120,000 acres of grass habitat enrolled in farm programs such as the Conservation Reserve Program since 2007 severely reduced the numbers. And finally, Harbor, the dog, has over two feet of ears. Does that make him a six-foot dog? Probably not, but on Tuesday, the black, and, the black and tan coonhound from Boulder, Colorado, gets the 2012 Guinness World Records title for longest ears on a living dog. His left ear is 12.25 inches long, and his right is 13.5 inches long. Owner Jennifer Wirt says when her eight-year-old was a puppy, he would trip on his ears and roll down the stairs. These days, Wirt says people often stop them to ask questions, take photos, or tug on his ears, which sounds adorable. Well, that's it for today's top headlines. For more news about your community and your town, please go to austindailyherald.com. For the Daily Herald, I'm Trey Muse, saying that's the way it is today.